so the first dinner idea that we are going to be having is going to be this taco stuffed baked sweet potato and it has a total of 525 calories for the entire thing. I got this lovely meal idea inspired by Pinterest and when I saw it I knew I had to make it. This would be such a perfect dish for weight loss because sweet potatoes and potatoes in general it's perfect for adding volume in your meals meaning that if you cook or use ingredients that have more volume it will help you to stay full longer which is what you want for weight loss. You don't want to always constantly feel the need that you have to snack or that you have to constantly eat something or have cravings. Also, you guys, this dish is so fast to make. When I was on Pinterest and I was trying to look up how long it needs to cook the sweet potato, I actually found out that you can cook the sweet potato in the microwave and all you basically need to do is just like poke some holes in your sweet potatoes, which I'm going to be showing you guys in this segment. I personally didn't know that you can microwave your sweet potato and that's going to come out like all cooked. So I thought you needed to do it in the oven, which obviously when you cook sweet potatoes in the oven, it can take a long time, especially if you're making like a big sweet potato. But yeah, I thought that was so insane. And you guys, I really think that you should make this because I think it's going to be perfect for weight loss. Also, there's so many great healthy nutrients in this dish. We got a great source of carb. We have 8 grams of protein in the soy chorizo. We have some healthy fats with the avocado. We got a little protein going on with the light sour cream and shredded cheese. And you have a nice source of carb for your sweet potato. And yeah, you guys, it's just such a nice sweet and savory combo. And I really hope that you guys enjoy this dish. If you guys end up making this dish, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your feedback or if you guys would be down to try this dish idea. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so next up we have another dish idea which I'm so excited to put you guys on. It is this Sharoma chicken size, this pocket pita bread made with some light sour cream, kale, tomatoes, white onion, and cucumber. Now, I believe that this dish comes from the Middle East. It's, I think it's Turkish type of dish. They very often make this type of dish idea. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, I was doing some Google search to see like where the Sharoma chicken originated from and obviously I didn't invent this like on my own, but I did see that this specific chicken shiroma that I got from Trader Joe's. It was trending all over TikTok and so many people kept saying that that specific product from Trader Joe's is so good and I was like I need to include this in my video. I need to try it out and you guys I am not lying when I tell you that chicken is so bomb. It is so seasoned. The chicken is so big, but you're getting such a good serving size. And it's not like dry. It's like soft inside, but it's not like like raw soft. It's like, it's just such a nice, like juicy, soft, but like very seasoned, very seasoned type of chicken. And I really want you guys to try it out if you haven't tried this out, because I think you're just gonna love the chicken. You're getting this huge pita bread that you're going to put the chicken and all your toppings inside. It's only like 180 calories for the pita bread. 
Then for the serving of the chicken that I'm going to be using, it's only like 160. And then I also added some light sour cream, which two tablespoons is only like 40 calories. And then you're just using kale, tomatoes, white onions, and cucumbers. And it's just very filling. I know some of you guys don't have a Trader Joe's in your area, so no worries because I'll leave the link in my description box for like a recipe or ingredients that you can use to make that chicken shiroma. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy. another trendy dish idea that I got from Trader Joe's which is called the squiggly knife cut noodles with soy and sesame sauce you guys when I tell you these noodles were fire I am not kidding you the texture was amazing it was so delicious again if you don't have a Trader Joe's in your area you can always find like copycat items um stuff that's like similar in your own like local grocery store making this dish was also super fast to make super easy little prep in the kitchen I think this is perfect if you're somebody that's constantly like on the go if you're somebody that's not in the mood to cook if you are just like looking for like really simple stuff to make then I definitely think you should make this. Also I know that this is not considered the healthiest items with the noodle packet but something that I believe that is really important during your own weight loss journey is that you don't restrict the foods that you love. You're still able to lose weight while you're still eating like things aren't 100% healthy stuff that can be like a little junky. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like it's all about moderation as long as you're going under your calorie deficit. And some days I think we want to have like pasta, enjoy foods that we love. I don't think restricting yourself all the time is always like healthy. The way I wanted to incorporate this dish to be a little bit more healthier was to add in the bok choy and add in like a hard boiled egg because egg is obviously really good for protein. And bok choy is also really good to add a lot of volume in your food. Bok choy is also something that I use during my own weight loss journey. Just because of how filling it made me feel like during my meals. And I think it's perfect. Also so good when you steam your bok choy. Just like you guys are going to see on the screen. And yeah, I really hope that you guys try this out. And if you do, let me know what you guys think of these noodles. <music> Next up, we are going to have this hearty minestrone soup with some chicken shiroma. Again, as you guys saw for my last couple meals, I'm going to be using that same chicken and then we're going to have it with some white onions and some diced roasted tomatoes and that's it. Do you guys know that the entire container of that soup is only 250 calories? Per cup, it's only 100 calories and you're getting so many good nutrients in the soup. There's like kidney beans, like organic peas, tomatoes, rice, you're getting quinoa. There's just so many good ingredients in the soup. It's very seasoned and then I also decided that I wanted to add and some chicken just to get like some protein in there and I feel like this is again perfect if you really don't want to cook you guys literally all you're gonna be doing is just cooking up your chicken on the stove with your pan and then you're just gonna add in like your white onions your tomatoes and you're literally just gonna microwave your soup in the end for like a couple minutes and that's it literally that is it and again I just feel like Trader Joe's they just know how to make stuff like really tasty and can give you guys like really good meal ideas and again Again, like when I was on my weight loss journey I found a lot of products from Trader Joe's and just really kind of like play around with like 
you know how I pair up my food and like how I like to cook my stuff and yeah I'm just excited for you guys to try this out and if you do let me know what you guys think I always love hearing your guys it's like perspective and like your feedback what you guys think of these dish items if you tried them and I hope you guys enjoy <music> idea we have this chicken alfredo with broccoli and a side of bread except instead of using regular pasta noodles we are going to be making this with zucchini noodles and you guys this is such a game changer so this was actually my first time using the zucchini noodles i was actually a little skeptical when i first made this dish but you guys i am so glad i actually tried it out you can actually make these noodles really tasty it's literally again it's all about the seasoning if you put like some vegan butter it doesn't have to be like bland or or boring I think that these zucchini noodles can be so perfect weight loss because you save a ton of calories from the zucchini noodles instead of using regular pasta if you use like three-fourths cups of these noodles it literally only has 15 calories also I do recommend that if you do use these zucchini noodles try to use a little more than what they suggest the serving size just because the noodles do tend to shrink up and also this is another great and fun way to incorporate like more vegetables in your meals if you you are struggling to do that I think that it's going to help a lot and also for this dish I will be incorporating some broccoli again that's perfect because it's another high volume food option that you can put in your meals so that you can stay full longer and again I'm gonna be putting a ton of seasoning so that way like my pasta comes out more seasoned not like just bland and, and I just think that this dish is so fun to make because while we have some healthier options like using a lot of vegetables I also like to mix it up with like some bread because you know I do enjoy having bread in my meals and yeah I really hope you guys enjoy peppers with soy chorizo, Mexican shredded cheese, avocado slices, lime, roasted diced tomatoes, and onion and lime. This again was so fun and simple to make. I got this inspired by Pinterest and I always see these dishes on my feed and I really wanted to try it out. They just look so fun to make and super easy to make as well. All you're basically going to be doing is that you're just going to be cooking up your soy chorizo, the diced tomatoes, and then the white onions into a pan and you're going to cook that up put the seasoning that I put like on the screen and then one tip that I wanted to say was I would get started with the bell pepper first just because I personally think that in this video I didn't cook the bell peppers long enough and I feel like if you cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes at 425 degrees in the oven it's just gonna come out like much softer or just definitely cook them up a little longer just so that the bell peppers can taste a little soft and I feel like it'll taste better with like your cheese and the soy chorizo and everything all together and then I would also recommend that about like the last five minutes while your bell peppers are cooking that's when I would personally put in your soy chorizo because then the soy chorizo is already going to be cooked and then also cook up the shredded Mexican cheese like probably the last two minutes left just so that everything can be kind of done at the same time so that you're not overcooking anything or undercooking anything but yeah this was so fun to make and I really hope you guys enjoy this if you do end up making it again feel free to share your thoughts and yeah I'm just really curious to know like what you guys think of it how did you like it and yeah I really hope you guys enjoy Thank you. 